Alright. Hello guys. Um and welcome back to yet another video. Today mm. we're going to be um today I'm gonna to be doing everything you need to know um about flip a clip. Okay? So first thing you'll definitely need to know is like the side tools over here. All of these side tools are pretty important. Um, so if you want to change, so of course you have the pen naturally, and then once you press this black thing, um, over here, it allows you to change your color to any color you wish. This is like for beginner beginners. And then you can press the pen and choose what you want to use, um, instead of, um, well, of course a pen. You can also change the colors with that. I usually, I often do this a lot for like blush and backgrounds. Such. Another cool trick. Um, I'll just draw a circle. Also another thing you can learn is over here, the rulers. Ruler, can you, you can either do straight line, circle, or square. I often use circle a lot. But here's a quick cool trick. I, I haven't, I, it took me a while to learn this. But it's really useful. You can take this, choose any color you like. I'll just use um purple. Make a nice thick boy line. And then press your um press your eraser two times. Once you do that, this should show up. Grab this and drag it up. That will make things like shade like that. Now usually I like to keep it like all the way down because like it gets so annoying when I'm trying to do things. When you do that, you can use this little lasso button and do this. Make it bigger and bigger by using these little handle things. And then go it over and bing bang boom. Cool little shade. I th it took me a while to learn that. But another thing you can learn about doing that stuff is if you want, so say you have a really cute picture that you want to have multiple of. Well, I can help you with that. First you take your lasso and then you press this piece of paper over here. You press it, and then press this clipboard. Once you press the clipboard, you can double it. It's it, You can usually only go up to three at once. But nonetheless, it's pretty useful. Now, if you want... Now, there's another thing that's very, very useful. And that is the different layers. Now, most people, when starting, you only have three layers. Now, I got, like, a extra thing, which allows me to get, go up to ten. But, like, and, like, merge things. But, like, that's not the point now. Here is how you're going to, you can draw your own little character. I'm a, I'm gonna draw a cat. So, yeah. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Drawing a cat because my friend was first like getting this and was having really bad trouble with creating characters and such and drawing and he wants to draw a cat. So I'm making this for him. But this is also for you guys if you wanna learn uh, learn how to animate and such. When one good thing if you wanna make like the ears movable, don't really do that. You um first you draw fur. I mean, if you don't really want a lot of fur, then you don't have to draw what I, exactly what I'm doing. Also, I'm using this purely with my hands, which I think is pretty impressive, nonetheless, but yeah. <laughs> Drawing fur, 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 fur. I usually like to erase these parts. Even though some YouTubers keep it 
I mean, I understand why they would, but like that's I'm not that kind of person. Woo! -hoo. Oh yeah, um, my friend has a YouTube channel. He just started. His name is Gunzer. Um, go check out his channel. I would say link down below, but I work on my tablet and purely on my tablet, so like I can't really do that. If you guys know how to do that though, please tell me. Um. Now I'm going to make like a black cat, but not pure black. And then, so usually I have the head like in the middle, but then um, down here, I usually like do the body and such. I usually, I try to keep things symmetrical. I'm going to... Make this a bit thicker, boy. Make a bit thicker, 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 thicker. Should be good enough. I'm gonna add a collar because why not? Oh yeah, I can also use the paint bucket. <laughs> you can also like shrink how big and small you want things are, like that. Um, the paint bucket is really useful. You just have to type, um, tap it twice and you can change the coloration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to draw a nice little tail. No, I feel like the head's a little too big. I'm going to adjust the head. Just in the head. Well, so you won't have to worry. When you're doing that, you don't have to, uh, What I just did, you don't have to worry about, um, like, catching any other things when you're doing that if it's on another layer. You usually, well, at least, unless you merge it. But, like, that's for premium members. Which you have to buy it. Um, also, when you come over here to colors, you can, ch um, create your own palettes and such. So, like, you could do that, 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 whatever you want. I just made a random palette for no reason. <laughs> also, if you press this thing over here, it allows you to change the colors of things. And, like, if you, say you have a color, but you can't find it, you use that little thing, um, press on the color you like, and then you can use it. It's really useful. And I'll... Now I'm gonna do color real quick. Oh, uh, yellow. Yellow. Much better. And then the face is pretty good. The face is usually, like... Not that hard. It's not hard, but not exactly easy. It, it depends on what your style is for the face. Well, I'm making this seem so much harder than it really is. It's actually really easy. I'm just fooling you guys. <laughs> this is just how I do things. Making this a girl. Wink. Because I can. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> now here's how to do like some really good looking eyes um i'll just do this yellow you don't i never ever use yellow like ever well i do but when i do i don't actually have it as a color palette oh shoot in like a color palette so like it gets really annoying so i'm just this is my yellow cap um now, if you want to make, like, really high detailed eyes, you get the main color, you get a darker version, and a lighter version. And you do what I'm doing. Do that. And then you take this, make it small, of course. Um, you do this, and do it, like, as, do it like that. Um, so, like... You take this, the smut, like the lighter version, you put it right in between the normal version and the lighter version. And you do the same thing with the darker version. 
it's like a mouthful. And then to make it, things look nice instead of like a giant blob, you um go around the eye once more. So like any times you got any of stuff outside where you don't want it to be, you can fix that up. And then you can do the pupil. Since it's a cat, I'm gonna do like a sharp one. Um, and then you can add a little shine in the eyes, make it look all cute. And then you can do the mouth. I mean, you don't ha have to do the um, eyes first or whatever. You can do it as you like. Um, this will be red right now. Red with a nice little pink tongue. There you go. And then you can also... You can press on this and then use, press a piece of paper, a little piece of paper over here, and press the, um, press the clipboard in order to copy things. Now here's where the animations come into play. Animations are really easy, at least in my opinion. Um, here's just a bobbing head animation I'll teach you how to do. It's really simple and easy. You just use the lasso to move each one um, up and down pretty easily. Yeah, I usually just do like one at a time. Like I do, usually I do the face first. You don't have to do it like that. I just, it's just how I do things. Plus you're gonna, you're also gonna wanna move the ears as well, of course. Yeah, you can also like circle them one by one. So these ears. Um, you can circle them one by one and make them like flopping down, but that's too much work in my opinion. And plus, it's Christmas Eve. I got work I gotta do. Gotta go to my grandma's. Get some gifts from her. All that goods. All that Gucci stuff. And then, if you want to see your animation, you press this little play button. And there you go, your little animation. You can also make the tail move if you like. I mean, if you're not using a tail, well then. That's fine as well. Um, so then you could like, scooch you like that. Scooch, 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 scooch. Like things like that. Also, one other thing you can use, this little dot in the middle, if you place it like on the corner, you can do things like this, which can be extremely useful. And I often find myself you I don't really use it as much as I should be doing with my animations. I'm just used to the normal way, but like, well, the normal way I do things, but like, it's okay. <laughs> Well, there, there's the finished animation. Also, if you'd like to change the um, speed and such, you go up here, you press it, and then you go to project settings. Once you do that, you can change your frames per second and it, like how fast your frames will go. So there, I put it eight frames per second, and now it's a bit slower. Yeah, that's enough for, that's, um, that's as much as I'm going to teach you today. I hope you guys enjoy, and see you in the next video.